Today we're going to work on fraction word problems. Often, bar models can help us see how to solve a problem using different methods. So we're going to work through these problems using bar models. Jim had 360 stamps. He sold one-third of them on Monday and one-fourth of the remainder on Tuesday. How many stamps did he sell on Tuesday? Think. First, you have to find what fraction of the stamps were left on Monday. We know that he started with all of his stamps, or one whole, and sold one-third of them on Monday. Our whole bar is going to be split into three equal parts because we have a denominator of three. The shaded part is how much Jim sold, and the unshaded part is how much Jim has left on Monday. He has two-thirds left. So we made our first bar already. We split it into three parts because we knew that Jim sold one-third of the total. Since the denominator tells us the total number of parts, we know to split it into three parts. He started with a total of 360 stamps, so we can label the whole 360. The unshaded part, or two-thirds, is what Jim has left on Monday, also known as the remainder. Next, we have to find one-fourth of the remainder. We already learned that the unshaded part, or two-thirds, is the remainder. We know that Jim sold one-fourth of the remainder on Tuesday. We can break the remainder into four equal parts. The shaded part, or one-fourth, of the remainder is what Jim had left on Tuesday and can be labeled with our question mark. Now our bar model is complete and we can solve. Looking at the bar model, you can see that we are finding one-fourth of two-thirds. We can solve by multiplying. Our multiplication problem is written one-fourth times two-thirds. To solve, we can first cross-cancel since four and two are both divisible by two. Four divided by two equals two. Two divided by two equals one. We've just cross-canceled and simplified the problem in advance. Now we just have to multiply the fractions. We multiply our numerators, and then we multiply our denominators. One-fourth times two-thirds equals one-sixth. Jim sold one-sixth of his stamps on Tuesday. But wait, we're not done yet. One more step. We know that he started with a total of 360 stamps on Monday. We also just figured out that he sold one-sixth of his stamps on Tuesday. So we can find the actual number of stamps Jim sold on Tuesday and fill in our question mark on the bar model. On Tuesday, Jim sold one-sixth of 360 stamps. We can solve by multiplying. Remember, a whole number can easily be changed into an improper fraction by putting the whole number over a denominator of 1. 360 is the same as 360 divided by 1. Press pause and solve this multiplication problem in your notebook. Be sure to show your work. When you've finished solving the problem, click play and continue the video. Press pause now. Have you solved the problem in your notebook yet? Did you remember to show your work? If so, continue watching the video. If not, Pause and solve it now. 1 sixth times 360 equals 60. We've solved for our question mark. We can now cross it out and fill in the correct amount. Jim sold 60 stamps on Tuesday. Yay, we solved the problem. Now you're going to try one of your own. Take out your math notebook. Please put today's date and title this entry flip video. Pause the video so you can copy the problem into your math notebook. Afterwards, solve and be sure to show all of your work. This includes a bar model. We will review the problem in class tomorrow. Created using Powtoon.